<clears throat> okay, let's get this show on the road. All right. Tired, it's up, boy. <laughs> we go to bingo a lot. We travel the bingo circus. <laughs> oh, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. I just get it. What's this thing up here? Where are the set up, doggy? I know I'm single. I'm single. I got five cabins. So anyway, what's the question? What's the question? Iceberg, right ahead. My name is uh, Ken Biggity. Uh, my name is Andrew Biggity. Uh, my name is Kelsey Biggity. Uh, my name is uh, Daniel Biggity from Punkinwagen, and my character is Marcel. And this is my character here. They call him the chief. Uh, my puppet is uh, Baptiste. Uh, my puppet's name is uh, Michelle. Pagadawagan, that's where I come from. That's where I was born. Pagadawagan is a community 700 kilometers north from uh, Winnipeg. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of people there. Uh, 3,500 people fishing, and there's kids running up and down the road. Lots of dogs and lots of ravens, lots of crows flying around. Fresh air, fresh water. I'm Marcel, and I love to entertain everybody out there. Hey, you got all your teeth. I only got two teeth. I brush my teeth. I only got two teeth, but I still brush them. Okay. Our father, um, Gabriel Biggity, he was he was very um, intelligent in humor. He can walk into a crowd and make people laugh, and that's how I want it to be. He used to make stage plays in our in our room and he'd set up everything. Do our own shows at home. <laughs> I grew up watching The Muppet Show and Frankel Rock and Sesame Street and all those characters. I was, I was always looking out for a native puppet and I would never see one. Just okay. take a deep breath, Marcel. I want to take a deep breath? Yeah, okay, take it. a deep breath. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. It, just by a coincidence, it was in uh, Christmas time at the uh, Nakawi Health Center. Uh, Danny was working there as a, a security, and there was a puppet lying around, and I uh, grabbed it, came up with a voice, and, and that's how it was born. Help, 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 help. Oh, 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 something's happening. Oh, this looks okay, slow down. I'll float all that truck. Hurry, hurry, sit down, sit down. Ah! But then after that, it was Danny and uh, my late brother Russell that honed, honed on the idea. They would play with those puppets, just like little boys, <laughs> just like that. As soon as I pulled them out, he started smiling right and he grabbed the one and said, I'm gonna take this one. And I said, okay, I guess I'm stuck with him. Yep. Hey, what are we, what are we doing here? Sometimes I, uh... gee whiz, that's a good question. Would somebody see me in Australia? <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the first shows that we did uh, were like uh, 30, 45, 45 seconds. Just short little clips. So once we started doing it, we had more views, like 1,000 views, 2,000 views, 3,000 views. A lot of people were inboxing us. Most people always say, we watch the videos, it, 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 it makes our day. Because they always say, like, I grew up at Sesame Street or Mr. Dress Up, and here you guys are with a Cree puppet. <laughs> when a teenager or a child watches our videos, and the child or the teenager would say, what are they saying? And then the granny and or grandpa would say, just learn your language, watch them. That's how you learn your Cree. <laughs> Seeing a puppet and it has some Cree humor and language behind it, some culture behind it, is that they could relate to something that's uh, the, the, not a mere image of, uh, of the Aboriginal person, but the humor behind it. I see Pigisku in Yaguan Magi, the kid in no need. I go see Pigisku and Yago, Yago need and Pigisku and Mantui gave me that God gave me this language, and that's who I am and what I am. It's okay to be you, not to be ashamed of where you come from or what your background is. 
And don't let the language die out. Just keep it alive. And if it, if it brings a smile to my face, maybe it'll bring a lot of smiles to other, other people and other people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> when they laugh, you just feel this energy and you're just sweating too. And by the end of the day, you're just like a rock concert. Go on for like five hours. And when we're done, we're just spent, right? So it's a really good vibe, really, really good vibe. Well, I guess we'll do that with like two people, two people sit by the toilet. Uh. I guess it's not right. <laughs> Russell, Biggity, my brother, he uh, had a collapse at the hotel in the paw here. It came about as a brain aneurysm. That morning, I went to him. I went and knocked, and he got up and whatnot. And from there, he, he fell. So I had to do CPR and everything. The nurses said that he didn't feel no pain. It was instant. When there's a passing, right? You know, it hurts. And you go through the emotions. I guess a tragedy, and that's how it affected the, uh, the group that's inside me. It, it was hard. For the first three months, I couldn't uh, uh, do shows in front of people because I was so used to, used to him being right beside me. And every time I look to my side, he's not there. Yeah, and, and I'm scared. <laughs> I think we're scared. You know why? Why? Now that I'm a superstar, I can kid with, with He had a lot of humor with him. He was like our, our funny guy. Everything became like a show. He would always say, when you see a kid smile, that's, that's something you can cherish. He brought a lot of people laughter and opened a lot of hearts, opened a lot of eyes, and they missed him dearly, like the way we do. The dream for Russell about these puppets was to go very far in life and to never forget you must go on in life. That's what he would have wanted. And that's how the group moved on, but we don't forget. Yeah, it's getting more and more um, people, even in a store now, it's like, it's the puppet guy. Or they say, they say in Cree, said, are you traveling? Okay, get to you. Uh, a large double-double. Here's where we pulled up and we ordered neck bones and Ichiban. Well, we had our brother, my late brother here. How, oh, what do you want? And he just rolled down your window and he ordered neck bones. And then that shot, that just went viral. That just instant. Holy Sorry. That's a first. I don't swear. <laughs> oh, I'm a chief. I'm a star here. I don't know why you interviewed that dummy. I think his name is Ken. Anyway, they call me the chief. I'm getting some traditional shoes. Fresh shoes. Thompson style. Get me some shoes, boy. Okay, I'll get you some shoes. Right now. Okay, okay. I am on my way. It's Ken. <laughs> Hello. Vamos, está chegando, ó. Tô te sentindo, é Mola palo ali. I was like a like a mohawk. I was sick. I saw a man. That was sick. A man. That was sick. That's why I said the last one. The teeth speak. 
Left foot, right foot. Hello, check. Are you a member? Oh my, oh my gosh! This is fantastic. I feel like jam in baloney. Correct, I like you. Very good. That was a lot of fun. Tanzan Tote Mak from Pakarogan here, uh, north of 53, 56, the land of the monster bingo. Pakarogan Manitoba. There you go, sir. He's a puppet that basically has um, experience in medicine and uh, heals people. He knows a lot about the land as a trapper, as a medicine person. He enjoys the outdoors. Oh, oh, oh. With Andrew too, he had a very different perspective too. Andrew, very uh, keen on uh, the, on the land itself. When you become that puppet, that personality of that puppet, you know that there's no end. You could do anything you want as a personality of that puppet. We're live like kings. We're the, we're we're still off the grid that way. My snowshoes, my jacket, my gloves. I usually change his, um, his look every so, so many months. He grew up wearing the same stuff what my puppet wears today. So we went to school like that, we went to the trap line like that. Mm. My name is Michelle. What do I do? I'm a puppet. Everything I do is unscripted. I just talk as I go. Elders, they love them. You gotta be quick with them. They're quick with it. My partner says you might as well leave your backpack because you're always on the go. Whistle boy. Danny's very uh, kind of like disappears and he becomes a puppet. He's like, you literally have to grab him. When we do shows, he's right in there and he'll go like 100 miles per hour. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's the younger one, kind of like uh, yeah, the young, rambunctious one. So, and then he really lives up to his character and he just disappears. You don't even have to say anything to him. We'll power your truck. Yeah, it's was going to Hudson Bay. Okay, look at the bags, look at the bags. <laughs> Whatever comes to mind, I, 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 I just do it. Long hours on the highway is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like uh, when we started, we, we did eight reserves in six days. 
I guess it's hectic at times. It's, it's long distances and you get tired, but we kind of switch drivers here and there. All over the place, all the smokes are busy, busy, busy. Good morning, boys and girls. Today's weather report, egotistical report, is going to be cool. Big up by the sky, Spruce. Okay, that's the weather report. <laughs> it's not cold when you're cool, man. It's not cold when you're cool. <laughs> Grandmother's big. We're here for a uh, youth conference. Youth. All right, action! Yeah, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. You guys are late for class. Hurry up! Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll sing you guys a rap song, okay? All right, I see it. All right. All right. All right. Apple bottom jeans, <laughs> moccasins with the fur. The whole reserve was looking at her. Alancy went to bingo. Oh, 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 that's smokes. That's a scary hat, boy. You want to switch hats? I can borrow over your hat. Cool guy. They're good role models. They're culture based, and they know what they're talking about. They got the language. Everything that we do is having fun, telling stories, laughing, you know. Laughing is healing. Our language doesn't have any swear words. We talk to each other in our language, and it's uh, respect. To bring laughter in there, it's excellent. They speak the same language, so we speak Cree. It's a little bit different. They're from Pogitawagan, um, which is, you know, it's, it, we're, we're connected with the river system. Um, so we can understand each other and we can talk and it's the same kind of humor and it's just, it's nice to have somebody that you can relate to and, and they know how to get the crowd going and they, they joke about different things, they just, they know how to make us laugh. Prince Albert, what's your name? Mila. Oh, Mama Mila, Mama Mila. <laughs> the experience I had today was awesome with the gathering of the youth. It's about laughter. It's about having a good time and the language and the laughter is, is there. So it's part of the teaching. I went to Saskatchewan. That's at uh, Saskatchewan, uh, Grandmother's Bay. I go over there and I make people laugh, you know? They had moose meat there, yeah, moose meat. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I guess he was about seven when he started doing that. He would uh, pretend he was some kind of a goddess and he would go <laughs> into a stump and praying against the stump and saying, oh, you're good, thank you, Lord. And my mom and dad would just sit there watching that little guy. Yeah, he was very special. I miss him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, I'll get the tarp, I'll get the tarp, I'll get the tarp. I'll get the tarp, I'll get the tarp, I'll get the tarp. Just have fun, just have fun. Quit being so serious, be wet. They always say it's not good to be mad, angry, and not be happy. <laughs> when you're among a community, any community, there's more laughter in there and more jokes. People call it laughter's medicine, and that, and that medicine comes out naturally. <laughs> Because usually you'll find some kids that have been traumatized like by some sort of event that's happened in their life or they're struggling with some sort of anxiety or depression when they're very young. And those puppets draw that out. It comes across really well. Yes, you can take a therapist there, but sometimes kids will resonate really well with a puppet.
visi jā, mērķis vēl ir vizītas namā, jā, kur tagad visi gāk. Un nāks, ka man mūsu numars ir no mērķi. Well, uh, we put the tobacco down to say thanks most of all. Uh, where uh, uh, my late brother Russell is at, that's good where he's at. So uh, we'll just say thanks for this day today and then what he's left us. For the audience to take away from the puppet would be, you know, growth, to be happy. The way you move shows who you are. The way you walk already says who you are. So if you walk with a smile and a kind of like a, you know, people see it and then right away, hey, good to see you, and they start smiling. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll give you a hickey. And it's skinny. Look, go it. Trying to teach people that life is awesome. Life is really, really good. You know, you perform every single day of your life. If you want a happy life, if you want, a, if you want a, an exciting life, it's up to you. That's where we come from. That's where we was born. We're done. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go look for the chief. I'm gonna go look for some, my, my, my advance money, my honorarium. Chief, where are you, chief? I want my honorarium.